brother while the other speaker spoke so that he could hear him. So, even though we don't have anything really interesting to say, I know it's hard to hear everybody in this room, so. But good, I'll try my best. We'll do our best to say something interesting. Oh. So we're Team 2-Bit, I'm Jake, this is my brother Matt, we're indie video game developers. I'm showing you some of the trailers to our games here behind us as we speak. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what it takes to become an indie game developer, what you should do if you'd like to become an indie de game developer, and uh, you know, kind of what we do and what we've done so far. I'm going to ask Matt some of the most popular questions that we've been asked, and he's just going to go ahead and answer them for us. If you have other questions, we'll give you a chance at the end. So for starters, Matt, if you could just let everybody know, how did you get started as an indie game developer? So my brother and I were given a, and please give a shout out if we give any references that you love, but we were given a Texas Instruments 99-4A computer by our dad in a programming book when we were kids. And like any kid, if you're given a computer in a programming book, the obvious route that we chose was to try to make games. So from then on, uh, transitioning through Commodore Plus Four, learning C++, taking programming classes, we sort of did games on our own, with not really showing them to anyone, just doing it for fun and as a hobby for years and years and years. Um, we never really thought of this idea that we could actually take our games and show them to other people. But we finally sort of bit that bullet and got over that hump and that fear and started getting our games out there and taking that risk of showing them to people rather than just sitting in our basement and making things on our own. Matt, can you tell everybody a little bit about the games that influence you? Right, I'd like to point to uh, three games that I see as really sort of iconic that influence where I am today. One is Yars Revenge, it's an old Atari 2600 game. If anyone's ever played it, one of the things that I really got out of that was that you can have an amazing game that is also extremely simple. You don't have to make a game that's cinematic and over the top and requires a thousand people to design. Um, Metal Gear on the original 8-bit Nintendo, I think it's I think it's an amazing game because um, it creates this world for you to explore. And to me, as a game developer, that's what we really try to do. We try to create a unique world filled with unique characters that you can explore and wander around in. And one last game that I'll, I'll give a shout out to is Manhunter, an uh, old PC game that really revealed how you can put your character and personality into a game. Matt, could you tell everybody a little bit about what Team 2-Bit is up to now? Right, so for anybody who maybe has seen us or hasn't seen us, we recently appeared on The Next Game Boss. It's a reality TV show on YouTube that IGN put together. We won that, we won that competition. We made a game about a dog wearing a wig. That won us first place. Um, so coming out of that though, that, that uh, led us into the Indie Open House, which is a space for developers up in San Francisco. We're there with Alex from Primer Labs and a bunch of other great developers. And we're working on our game Fist Puncher, which you've been seeing some clips from uh, up here. It's a, a, a retro style brawler where you can have a cast of colorful characters who go around and punch things. And the biggest thing that we're trying to do right now, of course, as Alex pointed out, is we're doing a Kickstarter to try to raise funds for Fist Puncher. We're trying to finish this game. We've been working on it for a year and a half, and we want to finally get it out there so people can either love it, criticize it, hate it. We just want people to see it. So Fist Puncher, Kickstarter. We need your help. So indie game development to us means we've made all this that you see, just the two of us by ourselves here. We don't have any support from any companies or really anyone. Um, one last thing that we'd like to talk about is just advice for other people to get into indie game development. Matt can give a, share a little bit on what you can do yourself. I'm going to give the most important piece of advice that I've been having to give myself every single day for the last couple months, and that is don't be scared. I've been scared for many, many years to take the risk, take the plunge, and actually try to go indie. And now I'm sitting here, I, I quit my job, I have no income, I have no health insurance, I'm leaving my place, my girlfriend left me, my, my life is in total disarray. <laughs> I'm trying to follow my dream and make games and not be scared of the fact that I might fail. So any kid out there, don't be scared. If you love something, if you're passionate about something, just try. There's nothing inside of you that prevents you from doing it. You just gotta get over that hump of being scared to put yourself out there. Do it, go for it, make games.